Hi guys and welcome to another bootstrap video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well we've been building these little uh, hover effects with bootstrap. We've sort of had fades and slides and what have you. Fades and zooms and zoom outs and slides. Today we're going to do a spiral in. So we're going to sort of rotate an image in. And for expediency today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from here, which is our original fade. And you can download this project file and start from the same place as me from a link below the video if you want to do it this way. OK, and we're going to be using a text editor today. We're using the free brackets text editor. And if you don't have a text editor, you can download it from a link below the video too. It is also free. Let's close out some of these. But any text editor will do. OK, so we're in this one right now. So all we've got is one, one row with two columns in it. I'm going to duplicate this so we've got another one below to affect. Of course, you can affect this one if you want to. OK, if we roll down, there's our little section with the row and two columns. I'm going to simply duplicate it, Control c drop down a couple, and paste it in there tidy that one up. OK, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away the classes IHV and IHV there and we'll start from scratch. So I'm going to create a new class and what we're going to do is image spin in because the image is going to spin in. So I'm going to call it ISI. You can call yours what you want as long as you remember what it is and it's unique. And I'll do that for both of those images right there. And just for an explainer, the way this is working, we've got a row with two columns in it. Now each of these columns has a background image in it. And on top of the column is another div that has another image in it. So we've got one image basically on top of the other. And what we're doing is fading from one to the other. So let's get it done. We've created this class here, ISI, image spin in. Let's go to our CSS up here. And I'll put in a new title, forward slash, star, star, forward slash. Anything you put in between the stars there will not be written as code. It's a good idea to put titles in. That way you can find things a lot quicker if, you, if you've if you got a lot of CSS. OK, and it's class, so it's always got to start with a period or a dot. ISI, image spin in. So let's open and close some curly brackets. Inside, we're going to want to put our CSS. So if we think about it, we've got two images, one on top of each other, the column one and the image on top of it, which is our spinning image or will be our spinning image. So, and this is affecting the spinning image right now. So I don't want to see it at first, so it's got to be invisible. And so we're going to say opacity or see-throughness, if you like, zero. And that'll make it totally transparent. And then we'll do a hover state in a minute and make it totally visible by giving it opacity of one. Now the time it takes to actually spin in and become visible, I'm going to make mine 1.25 seconds, maybe a bit slow for some people. Obviously you put in, put in exactly what you want. I'm going to put in 1.25 seconds, semicolon. OK, and the other thing we want to do, we want it to spin. So for that, we're going to use transform, colon, and we're going to use rotate. Open and close some round brackets, or you can hit the prompt below there with uh, our brackets here. And how much do we want to rotate it? Well, let's flip it round sort of anti-clockwise one revolution, so that would be minus 360 degrees. Obviously you do exactly what you want. If you want it to spin se several times, well let's double that for fun. So that would be 720 and it will actually spin twice coming in. 
on the one that we showed you, it's just spinning once. Put a semicolon there. We put a semicolon after the last line of CSS purely because if you don't, it won't read the next line before the bracket there. Right, so we've got our regular state there. Now let's sort out our hover state when the mouse is on top of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this, Control C. I'm going to drop down, paste it in there. After the I in ISI, no space, colon, and then no space, hover. Make sure you don't put any spaces in there, it won't work. Opacity, I'm going to change to 1, so it'll be totally visible. Don't need the transition duration because that has not changed. But I will transform rotate. I'm simply going to put 0 degrees in there. So it should be right way around, if you will. OK. And if you watch my previous videos, we're going to have one little problem with this and we'll fix it in one second. So let's save this and see what we've got. Control S to save. Back to the site. Refresh and we should have a duplicate down the bottom here with our rotating effect. Okay, there we go. Let's see what happens when we do this. There we go. Well, it's doing exactly what we want. And because we've applied this class ISI to this other one, it's doing the same thing. And it, it, it looks like a an aeroplane taking off there. And what I don't want is anything outside of this box here. So let's create another class that will hide our overflow, because that's called overflow when it comes outside of the element. Let's go back to our brackets text editor. And I'll go down, I'll give it a new title. Just good practice. Okay, and we're going to create a class of OH, overflow hidden. That's why I'm using OH. You use exactly what you want. And again, just make sure it's unique. Okay, and what we want this to actually do is exactly what it says overflow colon hidden. Semicolon. Now we need to apply this class to where we want to stop it being overflowed to. And that will be on the div that's holding our spinning image, which is right here. There's the image, there's the div that's holding it. So after IM1, we'll put overflow hidden. Now the reason it's got IM1. For anybody who wants to watch the build of this first one, look at the first video in this playlist down below, the fade, and it has a build from scratch. But IM1 basically is we had to give our columns a class so we could give them the background image that we wanted, IM1, IM2. Good, so we should be good to go. Control S to save. Let's see if we fix that little issue. Now when we hover over it, there we go. It's spinning in, but it's not overflowing the div there. And same with this one here. Oh, no, we didn't. Ah, that's because we didn't add that overflow hidden class to the second one. OH, Control S, back to the site, refresh. Now, that should be hidden, the overflow. There we go, it's just spinning with inside the element. So there is how to create a Bootstrap 4 spinning effect, image swap with spin. As always, I'll put the CSS down below. Please feel free to copy it, use it as you will. I hope you've enjoyed this and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.